Hey guys, Coach Pillow Fist here, and today we're going to be talking about the footwork on how to cut angles. So a very important exercise that you guys should know is the lateral shuffle. So this is a non-boxing exercise, but it's basically the foundation for boxing footwork and being able to cut those angles. So starting off, I'm going to move over to the right side. So my weight is on my right foot, it's going to transfer over to my left foot as I move to the right side. Vice versa, I'm going to move to my left side now, my weight is on my left foot, transfer over to the right foot. Alright, just like that. So whatever foot is in the center, that's where my weight is. So mixing that in with boxing footwork, all right? It's the same little thing that I use to cut my angles. Just like that, all right? All right, so let's start off cutting the angle to the rear hand side first. So I'm in my stance. I'm gonna make my initial step with my rear foot. Now this is very important because wherever I step with my rear foot, that's where I'm gonna ultimately end up after I cut my angle. So if I step too far away, then I'm going to end up too far away from the opponent. So that initial step is very important that you place it correctly right here at the angle right by the opponent so that I can cut that angle and that I'm in range to let off my shots after I cut that angle. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to make my initial step with my rear foot, do that lateral shuffle thing. Now I'm facing my opponent, I'm in my stance, and I'm ready to attack. All right, so now we got this little cross thing right here on the ground, and we're going to pretend that the opponent is right here in the middle of it. All right, we're going to call this line A, we're going to call this line B. So I'm over here on line A. When I cut my angle, I want to end up more towards line B. So that's where I'm going to make my initial step with my rear foot, just like that. And I'm going to end up on line B. So again, cutting to this way, just like that. All right? All right, so now that we got that down, let's cut the angle to the lead hand side now. So getting in our stance, now I'm going to make an initial step with my lead foot this time. So I'm going to go like this, right here diagonally to the northwest. So make that initial step, and the same thing with the lateral shuffle thing. All right, remember this, almost like that same thing. All right, facing your opponent in my stance, ready to attack after I cut that angle. All right, it's gonna be like, it's like that. All right, all right, so doing it back on this cross thing, I'm gonna start off on line A, and then I go towards line B, step, just like that, all right? Again, step, just like that. Just like that. So a general rule of thumb of cutting angles is you want to cut over to the non-dominant side of the opponent. All right, so if we're in a stance and he's a southpaw, his dominant hand is that left hand, right? So I don't want to cut my angle to that, to that left hand side because then he's able to hit me, right? And it's easy for him to adjust that angle and follow me with it. All right, but if I cut over to his non-dominant side, which is his right hand side, all right? Then it's harder for him to hit me and it's harder for him to follow. Again, I'm gonna cut over this way. It's harder for him to follow, it's harder for him, because if, if I do cut over to that side, right, then it's, it's hard for him to like reach around with that left hand, right? The left hand. <laughs> but even if he did throw that hand, right, it's not gonna be a powerful punch, like it's just he's reaching with it, all right? All right, so now if he's an orthodox fighter, his non-dominant hand is the left hand, right? So I wanna cut over to the left hand side every time I cut that angle, all right? Because if I cut over to his right hand side, then I get hit and it's easy for him to adjust that angle, all right? So when I cut that angle, I wanna make sure that I go to his non-dominant side. Now there are exceptions to this rule, but I'm gonna go over those in a separate video on angles, so stay tuned for that. All right, now let's say you wanna slip with your angles, right? So when you slip with your angles, you wanna slip at the same time that you make your initial step. So if I'm gonna to go to my right side, I'm gonna to slip to my right hand side as I step, just like that. All right, same thing if I go to my left side, slip to my left side as I make that initial step, just like that. When you guys cut angles, you don't have to always follow up with punches after, you can just use that angle to get away. So if I'm just trying to get away from the opponent, maybe I'm stuck in the corner or against the ropes, I can do like that and then just make my way out. All right, so again, like that, and then just make my way out. So, that, like that. Now, if I want to cut the angle to the other side, so he's going to throw his left hand, and then I'm going to slip, all right, and I'm going to cut the corner from there. Like that, like that. All right guys, so this is the footwork on how to cut those angles. But knowing the footwork on how to cut those angles is one thing, but knowing how to utilize them in a fight and how to set it up is a whole nother thing. So in a separate video, I'm gonna go over how to set up angles and how to utilize them in a fight against the real opponent. And hopefully you guys will have this footwork down by then. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.